Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another wonderful episode of Help for the Guildless. My name, of course, is Antoine, and we are back for the fourth installment of my responses to Dylan Merrin and his unboxing of Radical Concepts. This time we have something special. It came out relatively quickly after the election of Big Daddy Trump, and I for one am happy to say that this is going to be a relatively short video. You see, he's unboxing liberal elitism. He's taking an inner look at himself, and there is a level of awareness in this that is quite scary. And I hope it continues on, because, well, I have to agree with a lot of things that he said in this video. Only a few points that need to be made. So, I'm not going to, well, delay any longer. Let's jump right into it. Take it away, Dylan. Because sometimes you gotta look inward to figure out what the fuck went wrong today. I'm unboxing liberal elitism. I could tell you, but it's going to be so much more fun for you to experience it on your own. Hey friends, I'm Dylan Marin, and I unbox the hottest intangible ideologies on the market, and this week I'm checking out a product that I think I've been blindly worshipping for a really long time. Understatement of the sentry. So dig right in with me to face some hard truths. Sometimes it sucks to look into a mirror. First up, thank you, <laughs> it is an echo chamber. Only hear what you want to hear and give yourself a skewed sense of what an argument is. <laughs> Check it out. Here's my opinion. Well, here's my opinion that is slightly different from yours, but ultimately we're on the same side. Go f yourself, no two people could ever be more different. I'm glad you said it, because that's exactly what happens when you decide to take away the differing of opinions. Opinions that seem so similar then suddenly become a problem. Yes, an echo chamber. Good for you. Engage in unnecessary arguments to avoid real ones. Excellent. It's big words. Select your vocabulary from this pile of words to show how much better you are than others by endeavoring to tackle the esoteric linguistic establishment of elitism without confronting the vexing paradigm that you haphazardly constructed for yourself. Those are some five dollar words if I've ever heard them. This is where Google becomes your friends, people. He's showing you exactly what they do. Use large vocabulary to try and confuse and confuzzle anyone who has a disagreement with them. It makes them feel better. So when they spout all of this esoteric bullshit at you, well, take a split second before you respond, go on to Google, go into dictionary.com, whatever you need to do until you understand what the word means and then respond, because this is just to make them feel better, not actually push any idea through to you. It's ingenious, really. Sweet. It is a safety pin to help identify allies amidst very real threats of harassment. <laughs> oh, but then there is another safety pin to critique that safety pin. Now, both sides make valid points and should be heard, but unfortunately neither performing allyship nor critiquing the performance of allyship will do anything to stop Muslims, immigrants, LGBTQ folks, people of color, and women from being harassed on the daily. Careful, Dylan. You're getting really close to being extremely woke, as the kids say you're starting to gain self-awareness. These wonderful movements and hashtag campaigns 
do so much in the way of virtue signaling, but in actual action, they do relatively nothing. I'm glad you actually pointed that out. I hope more of your viewers listen to that point. This is helpful. It is a large pointing finger. Now use it to identify who is really to blame. The DNC, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Donna Brazile, WikiLeaks, James Comey, Hillary, Bernie, working class white people, college educated white women, black voters. <laughs> Let this encourage you to yell and always make you feel right. Now I have to give him credit. He didn't hold back. The first thing he blames is the DNC all the way to WikiLeaks and black voters. Educated white women. He understands a little bit more that, well, calling people racist, bigots, homophobic, Islamophobic, sexist, misogynistic, and any other buzzwords really didn't work. What should have happened is the DNC probably should have listened to the democratic people and given them what they wanted and not pushed Hillary on everyone. Oh well, he's got a sense of self-awareness here. It's right there on the tip of his tongue and there's a spike of it delving deep into his brain. This is going to bother him for a very long time. Uh, let's hope that seed grows to fruition. All right, now there is one last thing in here. It's me. All right, well, this is honestly pretty embarrassing. Okay. And there it is. Self-awareness. It's in his face. It's right there. He understands that by pulling himself out of the box, he knows that he's been perpetuating this propaganda. He understands that he's part of the problem. I, if I could, I'd give him a standing ovation, see glimmers of hope because of this video. And because of that, I'm hoping from now on, the videos won't be too taxing on me, but he's still got his final say, and then I will close out. So I'm going to let Dylan take the floor once again, and, well, we'll add our own commentary at the end of it. All right, that is it for me, friends. But remember, whether you consciously use this product, hate it with a passion, or are currently composing a private message to me telling me how to kill myself, remember, hate crimes are literally happening every day, so let's not let our egos get in the way of trying to stop them. <laughs> Bye. Unfortunately, he is right. Hate crimes do happen, and it's by blindly following ideologies, without question, and enforcing it with propaganda and false statistics and pushing a narrative that things like this happen. There is a seed of honesty in this whole video. More so because of how short it truly is. Most of his videos are about 3 minutes and 33 seconds long, give or take. three About 3 minutes like I said before. Uh, minus the intro and the outro. This one was two minutes. He wanted to get this one over fast. I can understand why. There was a lot of being woke in this. There's self-awareness. And what I am hoping is that self-awareness leads to self-acknowledgement. And self-acknowledgement leads to self-acceptance. Dylan, I feel we are communicating somehow and you are starting to see what I see but unfortunately I don't think your fans want you to so a little piece of advice if you ever do watch this do your own thing question everything and verify 
because that's the only way we as a people will survive. So that's it for me. This was a short one, folks. I only hope all of them are this way. I don't think they will be. Once again, my name is Antoine, and this has been Help for the Guildless. Join me again next time for another unboxing. I'm going to leave this one a surprise, because I haven't chosen yet. So, if you liked what I had to say, please let me know in the comments. Hit like, share, and subscribe. It really does help grow this channel. If you didn't like what I have to say, let me know in the comments. If you want to create a personalized hate message for me, by all means, I'll leave it up there and we can talk about it and laugh about it later. You can follow me on Facebook. And you can also follow Cole on Twitch, Twitter, and Tumblr. All of the relevant links are down below, as well as a link to this original video so you can go see for yourself that I am proud of him for this video and how aware he has become. I hope you enjoyed. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will see you next time.